Hello, everyone. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet everyone. How's everyone doing? Well, <laughs> I'm kind of still working. <laughs> Are but, you? Yeah, but not I'm not totally into it. I'm in class right now, so I have to be focused here. <laughs> yeah, but that's great. I mean, that's cool. What do you work in? What do you do for work? I work in uh, in a call center, and I'm a supervisor. So that's you and me both, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm not a supervisor though. I'm uh, I work in projects, implementations, and that sort of stuff. But in a call center too. That's great. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Nice to meet you. All right, so I see that we do have some folks that are, have already joined. I assume that we are doing a an advanced class today. So I'm already speaking English, but if at any point someone doesn't understand me, please let me know and we can just review, you know, it's fine. Um, hello to everyone that's joining. I see we have Byron, Maritza. If we'll go over like presentations, meet and greet kind of stuff um, in a second. So um, if I call you by the name you don't like, I'm sorry. Apologies in advance, we'll fix that, okay? So, but I see Maritza, Ana, Ana Godinez y Ana Velasquez. Okay, that's going to be a challenge. All right. Uh, Doris, Ivania, Katia, Leymar, Marcela, y Rigoberto. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We will give it like five minutes. Okay, we'll give it like 8.05. Let me text the group chat. Let me text uh, in WhatsApp. So everyone knows the class has started. We have started the class. Yep, all right. Has everyone had dinner yet? I just did. Yes, no, no, no. Yes. <laughs> nice. Yes, yes. 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 Nice. Yes. That's good. Yes. That's good. That's great. No, I didn't. Why? Were you not hungry? I, 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 I forget how to say. I acabo de llegar a mi casa. Oh, yeah, I know. Was there a lot of traffic? No, but I was part of my home, so. Oh, okay, yeah. I know what it's like. Well, hopefully after the class. All right. Okay, so I see that we have 16 people already. I do wanna take some time to get to know everyone. Um, and I'm just gonna go over it. Okay, so um, I see that we have 16 people. So what do you say we get started to start meeting everyone, whoever we don't get to meet right now, we'll get to meet along the class um, or tomorrow, right? So I know that everyone here is in pre-advanced class, but um, I'm still going to introduce myself in Spanish just for the sake of it, just for, you know, just to make it very clear and mer I don't know, um, just to make sure that everyone is understanding everyone and just uh, the basics of uh, things that I want you to know, right? So, switching. Um, buenas noches. Mi nombre es Alejandra Cardoso. Yo voy a ser su facilitadora para este módulo, tal vez para futuros módulos también. Um, Ya he dado clases con Insafor anteriormente. Eh, um, dejé de dar clases un tiempo 
y, pero ahora he regresado porque I just like it so much. I love it. So, um, ¿qué contarles? Um, empecé a aprender inglés cuando tenía como siete años, so long time ago, uh, and I loved it. Entonces, al principio no, al principio lo odiaba. Creo que todos hemos pasado por eso. I didn't like it. Um, pero aquí estamos. I'm teaching it now. I think it's really cool. Eh, y creo que tengo algunas maneras de que no sea tan tedioso o tan aburrido o tan whatever it is that the challenge it is that you find with the language. I think that we can find some bridges to go over. Um, al punto en que ustedes pueden ver que los mezclo los idiomas tanto porque pues se vuelve parte de uno y porque trabajo en inglés todo el día. Entonces, si ustedes se preguntan este, cosas de pronunciación, cosas de así, es práctica, 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 práctica. Eh, a mí me ayuda muchísimo el trabajar con eso todos los días, así que pues va a ser un gusto compartirles lo que les pueda um, hacer saber para eh, que les sirva en su trabajo o en lo que sea que, que, que ustedes gusten ocupar. Um, aparte de eso, pues... Eh, um, Estoy a su disposición para lo que sea que necesiten a partir de este día. Vamos a comenzar las clases hoy y vamos a estar terminando el módulo el día 10 de febrero. Which is great porque el 11 me voy de viaje. Así que eh, estamos justo, justo a tiempo para aprender un montón en este módulo. Y quiero tomarme el momentito de decirles que eh, si en algún momento no me entienden, por favor, interrúmpanme, o sea, no importa lo que yo esté diciendo, interrúmpanme y díganme, hey, ¿qué es eso? What is that? What do you mean? What does that, what does that word mean? Porque quiero asegurarme de que comprendamos todo lo que estamos haciendo y eh, no tengan pena de interrumpirme que pues al final para eso estamos aquí. Eh, aparte de eso, solo mencionarles que sí les tengo como una programación que ya les voy a mostrar, pero quiero que nos conozcamos un poquito primero. Um, me gusta hacer checks en las clases. Si en algún momento hay alguna palabra que no conocen o expresión, lo pueden poner en el chat o levantan la mano o solo me interrumpen, it's fine. Y lo vemos. Um, aparte de eso, pues, I don't have a lot of rules. Si ustedes, yo entiendo que todos venimos saliendo de trabajar. Entonces, just drink water, drink whatever you want, eat whatever you want. Um, this is your space to learn. So, learn. Aprendan de la manera en que les sea mejor. Y solamente, with that being said, um, quisiera solo confirmar if everyone can hear me well. I will have a headset tomorrow. Hoy no tengo, pero quiero confirmar si todos me escuchan bien. Yes, it's clear. Yes. 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 Perfecto. yes, teacher. Awesome, perfect, that's great. And I see that we are 18 people now, so that's awesome. All right, so I'm switching back to English once again. If something's not clear, if something's not understandable, please let me know. Um, just let me know what does that mean? What do you mean by that? What does that word mean? It's fine. Um, and with that being said, since I don't know any of you, When I used to teach these classes, sometimes I knew some of the people, some of the folks that joined, but I don't know anymore. So I would like to get uh, everyone a little bit. I won't get to know you um, perfectly today, just because this is our first day, but I do would like to get to know some of y'all. So I'll just go with the order of the chat, of the, the participants that I have for this class. Um, And we can go from there, all right? So when I call your name, uh, if your mic works, if you don't want to, that's okay as well. Si ustedes no quieren, that's okay as well. Um, just let me know or just don't speak and I'll just move on to the next person. It's great. This is a great place to practice. Um, for you to speak, for you to practice your pronunciation and the grammar that you've learned. So um, I do encourage you to do it, but if you don't want to, I can't make you, so it's fine. That being said, I'll just move on to the participants um, in the order that I see them. And you can just tell me um, anything that you want about you, just uh, so that we can all get to know you. 
uh, what's your name? What do you prefer to be called? For example, I prefer to be called Ale or just whatever you want, but Alejandra, Ale, it's fine. Um, and I would like to know why you want to learn English. I'd like to know if you're learning English for work, if you're learning English just as a hobby, just because you always wanted to for your kids maybe so that you can help them um, for your career. I don't know. So you can share that with me, with all of us. And that way we can get to know each other a little bit. Um, okay. So the first person that I have in the list is Dalia. Hi, Dalia. Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. Eh, mi nombre es Dalia Carranza. Eh, tengo un pequeño negocio. Aún estoy trabajando porque estamos construyendo la casa y entonces estamos viviendo en la oficina. Y entonces estamos haciendo un relajo. Tengo 24 años de estar casada. Tengo dos hijos. Me gusta el inglés, me encanta, pero me cuesta mi edad. Es un poquito más difícil, no porque no lo entienda, sino que por el tiempo que estamos full time en el trabajo también. Pero estoy ansiosa de aprender porque viene una amiga de, de Londres en marzo y ella no sabe español. Entonces estamos queriendo correr y aprender mucho. Y ya tengo... Vamos a ver, ya tengo varios módulos de estar aquí eh, aprendiendo. Me ha encantado muchísimo el sistema. Y conozco a varios de mis compañeros. Espero que estén varios de los que hemos estado juntos durante un poco de tiempo. Así es que espero aprender mucho y entenderlo más que todo, hablarlo. Y, y yo sé que lo más difícil es practicarlo. Y entender día a día es cuestión de práctica, yo sé, pero... En nuestro alrededor nadie, bueno, mi hija es bilingüe, pero no quiere hablar conmigo porque siempre me corrige y dice que no entiende. Entonces es bien difícil, pero bienvenida y muchísimas gracias. Y yo sé que vamos a hacer un buen trabajo y vamos a estar molestándole y preguntándole. Así es que, así que estoy a la orden de todos también y esperamos trabajar bien juntos. Y nice. espero hacerlo bien. Thank you so much. Nice. That's awesome. That's great. So that's super great that you're going to have someone to speak to. Uh, that always happens with children. You know, now she knows English yeah. and she thinks she knows it uh, all. But let her be. No, better. my daughter is, is very terrible for me. <laughs> and uh, I don't, I don't, I, I can't practice with, with her. No, it's really awful. <laughs> We'll have a place to, to practice here. We'll have a place, a place to practice here for everyone. So that's great. At least an hour. Yeah, thank day, you so much. We'll be talking and we'll be just having a conversation mm -hmm. each day. So that's great. All yeah. right. All right. So I do encourage everyone to use as much English as they can. But if you want to introduce yourself, just like Dalia did, that's perfectly fine. I do encourage you to use as much English as possible. English, I'm sorry. English as possible. Um, but if you don't know how to say something, please say it in Spanish. We'll go over it later on how to say that. Okay. Uh, all right. So the next person that I have in line is Alexander Muñoz. Hello, good evening. Uh, my name is Alexander Muñoz. Uh, I know some uh, classmates, uh, Dalia, Katia, me and I don't remember, Maritza, Jose Avalos, maybe he is new. Uh, uh, I work in uh, catering services. Services, it's about, it's about meats. It's about service, uh, uh, breakfast, uh, lunch, etc. Um, I am uh, five, uh, 52 years old. Uh, I live in El Salvador. Um, really, I like uh, learn English. And I have many time uh, learning English, but I try and try and try. And because I like it, because I want to practice my English in business, and I try to practice my English uh, every day like a hobby. And I feel good. And I feel good with the, the system, the English, because um, at the beginning, I thought this is a, like the other system, like just a, hey, just watch a video. 
but this is not is not the same because it's a, okay sometimes watch a video but explain some topic etc etc so i feel good thank you very much that's awesome that's super great thank you for sharing that Alex. that's super awesome okay. that's great you're doing super amazing as i hear okay. so that's great okay. <laughs> okay. all right let's see next person i have in line is alma ayala And Alma going at one. Good. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. And good evening, everyone. I'm Bonnie. I'm 18 years old. I'm a student. Um, I am a psychology student. And and I always want to learn English because I always like it. And I was like, oh, that sounds good. I want to learn. <laughs> so I'm fascinated about the that language. And I think it's a very important language. And that's it. <laughs> okay. Psychology. That's super cool. I always felt like I wanted to go into psychology and I didn't and I regret it. So that's super cool that you're studying that. Super and awesome. Very. Yeah, very. it's very interesting. Very <laughs> you yeah. learn a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. Very. So kudos to you. That's awesome. All right. So next I have. Ana Godinez, specifically. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. You hear me? Yes. Hello. Yes. Hi. Ana, Ana Godinez, my friend? No. Godinez. Yes. Hi, yeah. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Good. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice Hi, to meet I'm you. Ana Godinez. Ana Vilma Godinez, but I yes. like to call me Ana. And I have four years old and I work in uh, a television channel. I, I mean, <laughs> in the Department of Human Resources Department. Yes, and so I, I want to learn English because I, I want to improve my skills to it give uh, other chances of my career, other opportunities. Absolutely, and it will open a lot of doors. Yeah, I could have seen you, that's awesome. Yeah, it English improves any career really, so, and especially in your field, so that's awesome. Now it's very important, it's basic now. Yeah, I agree with you, yeah. Super, yes. just, just everyone's learning English today. Yes, and I'm happy because I see many classmates. Yeah, I see that, that, that some of you already know each other. That's great. <laughs> That's yes. fun. All right. That's cool. Perfect. So thank you so much, Anna. We'll move on to Anna again, but Anna Velasquez. Hello, everyone. I'm sorry, I'm I'm not turning on my my camera, but I I've, I've been sick with COVID, <laughs> so oh, I'm sorry. I am kind of kind of bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a bad time. Um, my name is well, I like mm, the people call me Gabby, but I don't know why I am my my mind is in another dimension today. And I put my first name, that's Hannah, but <laughs> everybody call me Gabby. Um, I am studying because I, in some years ago, I studied English. I was pretty good, but, but then I didn't practice and I miss, I been I forgot a lot of things. So um, it's good to me to practice again and to, to start um, learning more because you never you never um, end learning another language. Yeah. <laughs> so yes. it's good to me to have this opportunity and I'm very excited. That is awesome. Gabby, Gabby, it is that. Gabby, I won't forget. Okay. All right. <laughs> we yeah, I was thinking I, I will change it. 
Yeah, because I was thinking, okay, how am I going? How am I going to tell the two Anna's apart? And <laughs> that's awesome. I won't yeah. have to. That's great. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I loved that. Um, that you never stop learning, because that's so true. And even with Spanish, if we were to actually learn our language, we're doing it so wrong, man. We're doing it wrong. <laughs> but you know. So that's awesome. I completely congratulate that you continue to learn. That's great. Awesome. All right. So we're moving on. I already, we already talked a little bit, um, but bite on, please go ahead and introduce yourself again. Hello, of course. Uh, just give me one second. <laughs> I will. Because because of my hair, I'm going to use a cup. Just give me. <laughs> no worries. Okay, I'm back. All right. Just to turn off the camera. Well, hi. Um, my name is Byron, and I like to be that. I like that everyone can call me just by or Byron, it's okay. I work in I work in a call center. I'm now already a supervisor for the Spanish account, but then on February I'm gonna be for the English account. Uh, why did I like to study English? Well, I finally got the job on the English English area, so I had to improve myself some kind of words or how to talk with other clients because for the account that I'm working on uh, everything has to be in English it doesn't matter if you are in the Spanish account or English uh, you have to send some emails and everything just full 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 English um, I'm 27 years old um, at the end of the month I'm gonna be around I'm going to be 28 but <laughs> so that's everything for now I think <laughs> and a pleasure to meet everyone and for the other partners where I that I met already nice to see all of you that's awesome congratulations on uh, congratulations on the promotion thank you <laughs> That's great. Very well deserved. That's great that you're improving, you know, in our field, you know, how, how fast everything moves. So you had to learn quick, I bet. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> everything needs to already be done by yesterday. So it's great. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Next, I think we already did. Um, uh, right. We already did Alma. You already spoke, right? Yes, yeah, I already she, spoke. Yeah, she did yeah. psychology. Yep. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I need keywords. Okay, I need keywords. This is my first day with you. Have some patience with me. All right, I'll get there. All right, so next I have Doris, Doris Torres. Hi, everyone. My name is Doris Aime Torres Cortez, but you can say me Aime or Amy. I am 20 year, 28 years old and I am business administration and I work as payroll analyst. In my work, I need uh, very <laughs> to learn English because uh, the system and all programs are in English in my PC, uh, PC in and also for to get more opportunities it's all took me a while to unmute myself i'm sorry payroll that's awesome that's great kudos on everyone because everyone's just trying to do better work you know i know we're tired and I know we're just doing the best, but everyone's so eager to get better. That's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing, Doris. Or Amy, Amy. Amy is so pretty. That's a pretty name. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Who do I have next? I have Ivania Romero. Hi, everyone. Uh, 
papá veo la cámara um, abierta. Mm -hmm. Hi, good evening. Um, my name is Ivania. Um, most people call me Ivy or Eva, Ivania. Um, whatever it is, it's good. Oh, it's okay for me. Uh, I'm an economist and I work at Ministerio de Hacien. Um, I want to learn English for different reasons. Um, first, I think is because I like it. And I agree with my other partner because English can help you in your career too. So I think I want to practice and improve my English for another job opportunities. And I think I am good on writing English, but um, I want to improve my speaking and other words, no, no other words, and something like that. Awesome. Vocabulary. Yeah. We'll do just that. We'll go over a lot of lots of vocabulary, lots of talking, lots of conversations. We'll do that. Great. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see. So next I have Juan Jose Avalos. Please share. <clears throat> Hi, good evening, everybody. Do you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes, um, I like to learn English because I have lost um, many opportunities for don't speak English very well. And I feel that I need, need to improve better my English. And for my job, it's very difficult because uh, I work since uh, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. <clears throat> 12, uh, 12 or 4, 40 hours in the day is very difficult for me and to practice is very difficult too. Uh, I am um, to responsibility and faculty in the University of Francisco Gaviria. I am an architect and engineer civil too and I like to teach, in, teach um, too in the university. I teach many, many um, teams, many, um, I don't remember materials, I don't remember. Um, Subject. But I teach. So, yeah, many, many subjects, math, construction, topography, and yeah, many, many subjects in the university. Um, I hope to, to improve my English and to learn very much. I, I like the, the people call me Juan Jose. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for sharing, Juan Jose. So I think your English is sounding super great. I just want to take a moment to thank you for what you do, you know, and this is for everyone in the class. We don't thank our teachers enough, like our uh, university professors and our school teachers. We don't thank you enough. So thank you for what you do. And it's great. So thank you. Thank you for sharing as well. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. Too. All right. So we'll go to Katia Monterosa. Good evening. My name is Katia Monterrosa. I have to work uh, in the morning. I work in a uh, education specialist school and um, with uh, disability children. And, and now I work in Nicaes University. And I, I am studying a doctorate in education and I have to learn English because my career, but I like it. I just have stars here. Your <laughs> job is so important as well. Like I, I just want to like hug everyone here because you're y'all are doing such important work. Like it, special education is so you know it goes kind of under the radar. We don't really know a lot of people that do it, but it's so important. Like just teaching in general is great it's so fulfilling right it's just it makes you feel good so that's awesome thank you so much for sharing all right let's see next up i have 
Lamar Jaspi. I'm not. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's the name that they have here. Lamar. Or Lamar. Not sure. <laughs> But we'll do Lamar. Lamar going at one. Lamar going at two. And Lamar ah. going at three. At there three. we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, I was speaking, but, but I, I didn't turn off the, the, the microphone. Hi, oh. my name is Lamar. Um, I am from Venezuela, but I have been living in El Salvador like 12 years. I am married with a Salvadorian and I have two kids. I work in Ministerio de Hacienda and I like to travel a lot. I like to meet new people and cultures and everything. So I think if I if you like those things, you have uh, to learn how to speak English well. Um, uh, also, I would like to find a, a world a better paid job, so <laughs> uh, most, uh, the, the, the best place to work always ask you for English uh, bilingual level or something like that. Um, well, I, I, I hope to, to, to learn a lot and to improve my English because uh, I think I understand a lot, but I, it, it's hard to express myself in English. So I hope I, I could, better uh, to improve my English in that way. You definitely will. I promise you that people, we just got international over here. This is <laughs> someone from a different country, <laughs> Venezuela, who have all around the world. What's going on? Okay, that's awesome. All right. Thank you so much for sharing it. Yeah, I know, right? Everyone suddenly is asking for everyone to know English. And when should we have started learning it? You know, everyone's asking for it. Was I supposed to know they were going to ask for it? No, but you're learning it now, which is what's important. So that's awesome. All right. So it's Limar? Leymar. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to say that, right? Thank you for, thank you for checking that with me. Okay. Leymar. Got it. Perfect. All right. So let's see. Next person that I have in line is Marcela Aguilar. Hi, hi everyone. My name is Marcela. You can call me Marce. And I am 20 years old. And I want to learn English because I, I have to find a new job, a better job in the future, right? Or maybe because if I have the opportunity to travel, the, it, it's a good way to know another language for it. Yep, and, super agree. And yeah, sorry, nice sorry. to meet you. <laughs> Nice and to meet you all. too. Nice to meet you too, Marcela. Super nice to meet you. Yeah, if you're going to travel, you know, it's always good to know some English because especially if you're traveling somewhere where they speak a different language, everyone's knowing, going to know English. You may not know their tongue, but you're going to know English. And odds are they're going to know English too. So you'll be at least somewhat safe, you know? So that's awesome. Great. All right. Next, I have Marvin Calix. I think you are muted because I saw you just opened your camera, but I think you're muted. There you go. You're muted again. Oh, hello. There we go. Hi, Marvin. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Marvin, you got muted. I'm sorry, we can't hear you. Okay, I don't know what happened. There you go. Okay, my name is Marvin. Uh, uh, the people call me Marvin. 
I'm from Candelaria City, Santa Ana, and I went to learn English because uh, uh, I find this language is uh, so great, and I know a lot of people that speak in English, and I would like to communicate communicate with them uh, uh, through this language, and I hope to improve my language in this class. Awesome, super great. We'll, we're all going to be improving here. You're, I assure you, you're going to teach me some stuff as well. So that's awesome. We're going to be all improving here. Thank you so much for sharing more of it. That's great. All right, let's see. Next person that I have here is Maritza Argueta. Good evening, everybody. Um, my name, oh, I like, uh, people call me Maritza. Uh, I work for uh, Ministerio de Hacienda and I like to learn English because I, as many, as many people, I uh, began to, to learn English a long, a long time ago, but I, I leave the, the classes and now I, I want to learn. I really want to learn and improve myself. That's it. Thank you so much for sharing, Maritza. We have a lot of folks from the Ministerio. That's great, that's great. <laughs> All right. And let's see, we have Natalie, Natalie Elizabeth. Hello, everybody. Nice Hello. To meet you. Uh, my name is Natalie Elizabeth Garcia Rivera. I'm 19 years old. I study medicine. And I want to learn English because a long time I study uh, in the university as well, but I forget it. <laughs> and I need to uh, improve, learn, and meet people. And it's a pleasure to be here. And I hope we have um, a new experience. And that's all. Awesome. That's super great, Natalie. I know that when you're going in medicine, you guys do a lot of like research and that sort of stuff. So that's super important to know English. You know, sometimes just documents are not translated. So that's great that you're going to have the information just right off the bat. That's awesome. All right. So next person that I have here is Rigoberto Argueta. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, my name is Rigoberto Argueta, but I like to, I prefer to be called Rigo. I'm a student now, but I'm trying to learn English because I want to get a better work, uh, like a concentrator or I don't know, the best option. Um, I started to learn English um, three years ago, but I know that I need to um, improve my abilities. <sighs> One more. I'm starting at the university a degree in English language at the Universidad Tecnológica, and that's it. Nice, that's awesome. So you're practicing at university and you're practicing here. You'll improve very quickly, you'll see. Awesome, thank you so much for sharing. All right, I see we have, has Myrna already gone? Yes, Myrna Barona, have you shared already? I'm not sure. Hello, teacher. Good evening Hi. to everybody. Good evening. Happy, happy to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of time no see you. <laughs> My name is Myrna Barona, I'm a content public. Um, I like English, but I need to increase my fluency because I, when I, I speak in someone, I forgot the words, I put nervous, I, I, <laughs> I, I need uh, a lot of help because... 
Mm, and no I like problem. English. <laughs> we'll do I, lots uh, of practice. I have, if we yes, need help. I have to take advantage about this opportunity that uh, yeah. give in so far. Yeah, take all the advantage. Take all the advantage. This is I put down in the group chat in WhatsApp. Any questions that you have, it doesn't have to be at this time, you know, between eight and nine, you can just ask anything and I'll try my best to answer as soon as possible. Even if it's not about the course, you know, even if it's just like, hey, uh, do you know what this means? Or what can you share with us? I'll be sharing some things with you over the group chat just so we can learn some additional stuff. So yep, take the most advantage out of it as you can. All right, thank you so much for sharing me now. We are going to move on to our last two people. Um, and I see we have Roxana Mendoza. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Roxana Mendoza Valladares. And, uh, and I would like to improve my speaking skill. It's very difficult for me to express my ideas. Um, and I am happy for studying English with you. And you can call me Roxy. Um, and I like dance and, and I love study English. Thank you for uh, the opportunity to study with you. That's awesome. Roxy, I will call you Roxy. So, so that, that, that I won't forget that name. Okay, that's awesome. Okay. Love your headband, by the way. It's super great. Um, I wish I could dance. I can't, but I wish I could. So it's great that you do. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for sharing, Roxy. Thank you for being here. All right. And with that, we My will pleasure. move on to, me too, on to our last presentation, which is Sergio Herrera. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hello. It's a pleasure to be here with, with, with you. Yes, my name is Sergio Eduardo. Um, I work also in at Ministerio de Hacienda, like others of, of, of our classmates. Um, I started uh, to learn English many, 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 many years, years ago. ago. <laughs> so for <laughs> destiny, for destiny issues, I had to uh, interrupt my learning process. Uh, so just um, the last year, I started with uh, this um, online platform. This is my second model here. Is, so I, I'm interested in to improve my English, increase my knowledge and practice a little bit more because in my uh, in my normal days, I I can't practice, uh, so I I, I have I don't have enough time, and so I I'm trying I'm trying, uh, so I hope to get along with you, teacher, and with all my classmates, and to learn many interesting things uh, from you. So that's all. That's all. It's a pleasure. That's great. A pleasure as well. That's great. You know, we don't all have the privilege because it is a privilege. We don't all have the privilege to have continuous learning. Like I got to study English for, for how long? I got to study English <laughs> for, more than, for more than seven years straight, like continuously. And then I continued to learn it and I continued to practice it almost daily and then I work with it. So I never lost track of it per se. So we don't all have that opportunity. So we are here to provide you with a place where for at least one hour a day, you have an English space for you to, um, to take advantage of it. So that's awesome. All right, thank you so much for sharing. Okay, and with that, 
we would be um, completing the uh, presentations that we had for today, at least with the people that we had so far. I do want to share um, the schedule that I have for you so that we can just have an idea of what we're going to go through with the program. Um, and uh, we can all look at this and have an idea of what we're going to be reviewing. All right. So I'll share my screen and please let me know if you can see it. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Awesome. Yes. So what I've done here is just a very quick spreadsheet. I love Excel. All right. But I hate Google Sheets. So okay. <laughs> don't, look, don't, look, don't expect too much from Google Sheets. Um, okay. okay. But it's just an outline of what I'm expecting to go through with you. So this is our day one. So this is today. We have gone through the meet and greet. I really wanted to hear, to ev to hear everyone, to listen to all of you. Um, and uh, I think we'll have enough time to go on the introduction video. If not, there's always a tomorrow. Um, but I have here just an outline of what I wish we can cover. As you know, your modules do go in a certain um, order so that we can cover all of the program. We go from having a lot of topics to cover and into having less and less topics. Why is that? Yo quiero darles tiempo suficiente a medida va avanzando el módulo para que, because the more topics that we see, the more questions that you will have. And I want to make sure that we will have enough time to go over all of your questions so that we can clear those questions and you can leave feeling satisfied with what you know. Okay. So I'm hoping that today we can go over the introduction video on the platform. I know that some of you will have already um, watched it by the time we go over it here in the class, but we can go over it again, just in case there was something you didn't understand, or if you're seeing this for the first time, then it's also great. Um, tomorrow we'll be looking at uh, day rounds, uh, we'll be looking at some exercises, we'll be looking at vocabulary, and so here, this is what we have for this course. Next Thursday, we'll be covering the midterm test, and as you know, by the end of the course, we'll be reviewing the final test. So we have four weeks worth of topics that we'll go over, and uh, we will also have some additional knowledge checks that we will do uh, in groups. We'll have some activities that we will do based on the topics that we'll cover, uh, just so that we don't get bored, you know. Um, and we will go from there. So I will also be sending this over to WhatsApp so mm -hmm. you guys have it um, in case, as, as I told you at the beginning. This is not, I mean, this is not, you're not forced to be here entirely. So if for any topic you feel that you're good on it, you know what we're going to be covering on that day. And if you're super interested, you can be here early or whatever and mm -hmm. just pay special attention. And you, you, you already know what we're going to be reviewing on that day. So does anyone have any questions with this outline? No. It is okay. All no, right. no questions, it's clear. Super, cool, that's awesome, love that. All right, so in that case, as you can see for today, oh, also, I will go over the agenda. I wanna use it as an agenda as well. I go over mm -hmm. the agenda every day before we start with the class, just as we wait for everyone to join. So just so, for two reasons, just so we don't have that awkward silence at the beginning. Um, and also we know what we're going to go into. And if you have any initial questions before we go into the material, you can ask them there and then we can get started just as, a, as, as, as an introductory activity, just like we did with the meet and greet. All right, so that being said, 
I would like to continue with the agenda for today that we would have to watch the introduction video for the course number one. Um, and I don't think we're going to be doing the knowledge check necessarily today, maybe, we'll see. But um, I do want to get started with those initial two videos so we can get some content going. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Awesome. All right. So let me just check that I'm sharing the audio with you because I'm not sure that I am. So let me just reshare. Yeah, I was not. Okay. But you, you should be able to get audio now. So I will start sharing this with you. Okay. This video is five minutes, which is why I told you, I don't know if we're going to go over the knowledge check just because we're almost at nine, but we'll see. Please let me know if you can hear the video. Welcome, new course. Can you hear it? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. All right, cool. I'll leave you to hear it. I'll mute myself and then I'll come back after it's done new challenges. This is what we will do. We want you to watch a video. We'll call it an intro video. Everything to be learned in this section is practiced in it. We want you to watch it now and watch it at the end of the section and you will see you will understand it better. Enjoy. Norman, I've got to go to the hardware store. Room 12 really needs work. Room 12, yeah. We're expecting guests soon, so take care of them, okay? Yes, room 12. Thanks. Hi. Hi. Hello. Anybody there? Sorry, hi. May I help you? Yes, we have reservations, Quincy, Ed and Michelle, for two nights. Yes, Mr. Quincy, uh, you're in room 12. May I help you with your luggage? Oh, no, we're okay. We, we're just staying two nights. We don't have a lot of luggage. All right, well, I'll show you the way to your room. Follow me. Oh. oh. Watch that floorboard, it's loose, be careful. Here's the temperature control. Press this button for air conditioning. This button to turn on the heat. Adjust the temperature with this dial. Bathroom's right in there. My name is Norman. Give me a call if you need anything. He was strange. He just got here and I'm already feeling stressed out. Hey, does it feel cold in here to you? Yeah. Hey, look. It's stuck. I'm gonna turn on the heat. This thing's broken. I'll call the front desk. Norman, we have a window that needs to be fixed and the heat needs to be checked too. Okay, thanks. He's on his way. That was nice of him. I still think he's strange. That was quick. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What's the problem? Oh, it's it's cold. Turn up the heat. The heat doesn't work. Well, what's wrong with it? The dial's broken. It came off in my hand. Well, that should do it. We'll see. That window needs fixing, too. It's stuck, and it's letting the cold air in.
to do it. Thanks. You're welcome. At least it's warming up. Yeah, but look around. The paint is cracked and peeling. The nightstand is scratched. The curtains are torn. And the rug is worn and dirty. Actually, this place is a dump. You know what? It's getting really warm in here. Norman didn't fix anything. He just turned the temperature way up, and now it's stuck on high. I can't turn the heat off. Well, open the window. I'm on it. Ed? There's no water in here. And I can't open this window. That does it. We're leaving. Something the matter? Everything's the matter. First of all, the thermostat is broken. It's too hot now. And the window is stuck, and there's no water. Everything needs to be fixed. Tell me he's not strange. Strange? He's out of his mind. So that didn't work out. So how would you feel if you paid or thought about paying for a hotel room and that's what you got? Would it you have stayed? Depressing. No, I will be very upset. Very upset, yes. <laughs> they even they took were, too long. They Oh, yeah, <laughs> and they were calm. Yeah, they were too calm. Yeah, they. I, I mean, they were nice people because other people would have just started screaming all sort of thing. So yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. rough stuff. Yeah, not good, not good, not good um, at all. Not good. So mm -hmm. as you could hear at the beginning of the video. The instruction for us is to, by the end of the lesson, to go back and watch the video again to see if we understand it better. Do you feel that you understood all of the words and all that happened throughout the video? No. Not no. all of them. Not all. Because the video, we have uh, some problems because it's top or like a, a slow, I don't know, in my case. Yeah, and could you identify some of the words or do you think you could type or say or try to say some of the words that you didn't understand? I think they said something that, that, the, that the, the run was so dumb, but I don't know, or darn, but what I understand of that dumb it's like it's referred to the person that it's like oh mm -hmm. you're so dumb but I don't know if we I catch the right word or the meaning is different because they are talking about the the room or the hotel or, super or, great the, catch. or the employee super great catch so that was actually what they were saying they were saying it was a dump with a P at the end, P as in pine. So when you oh, say, it. and this is gonna be our word of the day, um, when you say that a place is a dump, it just means it's overall bad, you know? So this place is a dump, I don't, it, everything's bad about it. So, and whereas dump with a B at the end, it's just dump as we know it, like it's not nice to call someone dump, you know what it is. All right, <laughs> yeah. so with that, I know that some of you haven't had dinner. I know that 
everyone has things to do. It's our time. I'm missing it. And I do also have another class. So we're going to leave it <laughs> right here. What would be great is that uh, you go back, watch the video, you come back tomorrow, and we can continue discussing some of the things that you didn't understand. Because I know you understood most of it because you're great. But I want to know what you didn't understand so we can review it. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.